Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Voice Studio. My name is Fabi. So we're gonna keep going with this series of videos of coming mistakes when we start in yoga. So the other thing is Chaturanga. Chaturanga is a complex exercise because it's about the strength and mobility. And sometimes when we are beginners, we don't understand, but it's more about the position of our shoulders. And sometimes we just do the Chaturanga whatever we can and we try to skip always that part. And it's important that exercise because it's gonna give us a strength for arms weight poses. So let's go. One of the first common mistakes is that we start in all fours position. Remember that you press with your fingertips. You don't have your fingers flat. You will see that in the wrist pain um, problem when we start yoga. So keep again your position of the hands and then Normally, when we are doing Chaturanga, what we do is we try to bring the hips down. And then after we get stuck here, and then what we do is just kind of push us ourselves and then come us up. Okay, so let's kind of find the, tr the few things that you need to consider in this part. Number one is that your shoulders need to move forward to allow you to bend the elbows. So remember, if you are here and you try to bring your chest down by bringing your elbows backwards, your elbows will stuck in some point, so you won't be able to move forward. So from here, you need to move your shoulders forward without dropping the pelvis, just move your shoulders forward and come back. So literally, you have to move your chest forward until the point that your thumbs go direct to your nipples. That is super important, okay? That's the first one. Second one, so we are here. So first you need to move your shoulders forward. And the other thing is that we start to open our elbows. So here is super important that you keep your elbows in because if you open them, you won't have, the wrist doesn't have the mobility to go into this way all the way down. So it will be a point that you will need to release, but also you can hurt your wrist. So I'm gonna do it in this front. So when we are in all fours, move your shoulders forward, bend your elbows, and the elbows stay in close to your ribs. This is pretty much like a push-ups, but with the push-ups with the elbows in. Try to don't bring them out, okay? Third one. At the beginning, some of us, we don't have a strength, so it's gonna be impossible to go safely all the way down. You know, we will have to collapse, we will have to release, we have to do lots of things to, to go down. So what we have to do at the beginning is, is just to go as far as you feel that, you el that your elbows are bending and you really feel very strong in your tricep at the, at the back of the arm. And then, uh, until then, and you drop the pelvis, lift the chest. So basically, our goal is to bring our chest all the way down, mm -hmm. yeah? But if we don't have the strength, what we are gonna do is we're gonna just forward, bend your elbows, and you're gonna bend the elbows, keeping your hips up. Try to don't drop the pelvis, because if you drop the pelvis, well, you won't be able to bend your elbows. So from here, remember, shoulders forward, elbows bend. I cannot go more, so you just stay here, and then you just drop the pelvis and the chest. So what you are gonna do is instead of to go down, you're gonna stay up as far as you feel the strength, and little by little, you will be develop this, the strength. It makes sense? Yeah, so let's go together. The other thing is like, a, I know Chaturanga is from high plank, so knees off the ground, and we go here, yeah, but, if we don't have a strength, it's gonna be impossible to start like that. So if you are a beginner and you are only developing your Chaturanga, keep your knees on the ground until you really dominate that elbow, bending of the elbows fully and the chest go down without touching the ground. Another common mistake that we do is that we are fine, we are here, and then here we completely drop and then come up. Okay, so what we try to do is to don't touch the ground. So you shoulders forward, bend your elbows as far as you can without dropping the pelvis. Chest go down by bending elbows. You have to concentrate just to bend the elbows. And you don't drop anything. Just leave your chest and drop your hips for upward talk. It makes sense? Yes? So just remember these tips. Number one is to... Fingers position, no flat. 
Number two, your elbows in. Number three, your chest needs to move forward. So pretty much your thumb's gonna come just under your nipples. Mm -hmm. Number four, go as far as you can. You don't have to go all the way. You can just keep it as far as you feel the tension and the strain in your triceps. Is that okay? And number five, remember, don't collapse on the ground. Just go and come up. So I'm just going to repeat one more time to make sure that you have it super clear. So from all fours, shoulders forward. Don't drop the pelvis. Come back. Now let's try next bar. Shoulders forward, elbows in. Slightly bend. Good. Come back. Now shoulders forward, elbows in, elbows down, as far as you can. Down. Elbows bend, sorry. Chest down, as far as you can go. Super. Let's go. Our main goal will be shoulders forward, elbows in, chest down all the way without touching the ground. Then lift the chest and lift your knees onto upward dog. Then you go. Push through your fingertips here, remember, curl the toes under, downward dog, push through your fingertips. Good, everybody. Let me know in the comments how did you get on with this one, and if you have any question, please let me know. Remember that you find us in Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio, and hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you for joining us. Namaste.